Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel TV Scoop Entertainment while we bring you the latest scoop in South Africa. Today we will be talking about that tweet rant that happened the other day on the 3rd of September to be specific between Nigerian celebrities as well as South African celebrities but this video will focus mainly on the tweet rant by aka the rapper himself. He is a South African rapper so do make sure that you in the meantime you do subscribe to my youtube channel and you hit the notification button for more tv scoop entertainment videos otherwise let's go aka sent out this following tweet and nigerians were actually upset with him that he would send such and others re even said that okay these tweets are xenophobic in nature okay as you can see that he was watching a match, I think a soccer match and something somehow South Africa lost um, and they lost to Nigeria and they, lo uh, they, they won the Egyptian uh, match. So it was him being himself, you know, as a celebrity, him being aka that we know he is. He went on Twitter to say all of those things. And when these xenophobic attacks started happening, someone pulled up this old tweets to say, hey, aka, you were being uh, xenophobic when you said one, two, three, four about Nigeria. To me, this person like was comparing two different situations. And then all of a sudden, we saw Benna Boy jumping onto AKA because of those old tweets to say that I knew he was retarded, but I didn't know it was gotten this bad. Next time I see you, better have a big security brown gumbo's grave. You're gonna need it. Come on, Benna Boy, you're better than that. You're way too better than that. Hey, boo. Then all of a sudden, a lot of people started jumping on AKA. Even this guy at Sun Sultan. I was about to unfold AK, but I held myself back and said, uh, You are not following the Mumu in the first place. Come on. Come on. That is so low. That is so low. Then, aka being himself, he just tweeted, God bless Nigeria. And Ice Peace was like, Apologize immediately. Apologize immediately. Hey, <laughs> okay. And then, aka replied, Apologize for what? I mean, even myself, I'm asking the same question. Apologize for what? What did he say wrong? I mean, like, was there a tweet that I missed? I don't think so. I've went through all the tweets of aka for that day and i couldn't see anything wrong about them and then finally a south african jr just responded to ice prince to say context ice everything was taken out of context i personally don't know any sa musician post 2000 who has supported and respected nigerian entertainment as much as it, aka through videos features narrative and has always been very vocal Huh, I feel that Burner Boy could have had a more cordial response to AKL Wall Street with the huge platform that they have to correctly interpret the tweet but choosing to fool a head full narrative of fervent hate is disheartening. Yes, yes, JR, that is true. They took those old tweets out of context and all of a sudden they started applying them to the current uh kind supposed um xenophobic attacks of which is wrong of which it's wrong so i don't see no point in them asking aka to apologize apologize for what and another nigerian artist i believe his name's perizy jumped on this wagon as well to say aka must apologize if you don't apologize on that show shame on whoever runs that interview tbvh come on Come on, that is so low, Peruzi. As if that abro wasn't enough. AKA went on to tweet, imagine I said, stay in your country. The abro. <laughs> AKA, I believe this tweet was not necessary at all. I mean, like, you have already by then received a lot of threads and a lot of, oh my God, tweets to say that you must apologize. This was not necessary it's like aka now um he was just fooling them to to actually <laughs> continue with this thing of threatening him dude you've been threatened enough one of the other tweets by aka that i saw 
was this one where he said are you talking about this guy i don't know where it falls in this category but but in this uh timeline but this is what he said and peruzi that guy just mentioned he said hey bro come to nigeria so to respond to peruzi's um tweet that aka should come to south uh to, to nigeria aka was like no you bro you come to south africa and davido hey another nigerian star he's a superstar that one he jumped in to say disappointed so at this time of um the night aka had already received a whole lot of um dms um threads actually and then that's when he said that okay enough it's enough now let me tweet something that makes sense he said please can we stop we're going to make things worse for everybody on both sides we need each other south africa and nigerian flag please can we stop we are supposed to be leading our people of which is true of which is true aka and then aka is um brand 360 communications had to release a statement to say hey guys you actually took everything out of context that's not what I, I was not being xenophobic at all actually those tweets was about um south africa um being taken out of the afcon tournament and you know how guys are when it comes to soccer they love soccer with all their hearts so for example they were supporting sa because that's their national team and because now that it was kicked out of the tournament it did hurt it did hurt but then ish, i don't know what else to say guys do let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about aka's initial tweets when you look at them do you think that they are kind of like xenophobic in nature or what do you think do let me know in the comment section down below otherwise see you on another tv scoop entertainment videos goodbye